Today on Newsbeat, the LSU football team isn't the only group of students gathering national attention on game day. And a major life event in Ryan Gosling's life could take him off the market. Plus, the one LSU student is being memorialized after his death last year. All this and more, Tiger TV's Newsbeat starts now. Good evening and welcome to Tiger TV Newsbeat. I'm Taylor Tyser. I'm Jake Robles. Thanks for joining us. ISIS released a new video Thursday of hostage John Cantley. In it, the journalist criticizes the American and British governments for failing to negotiate for hostages, but also it makes it, makes it clear that he is speaking under duress. Cantley was kidnapped in 2012 from Syria. ISIS militants did not appear to threaten his life in the video. One year ago, LSU lost one of its students to a car accident. Let's go over to Tiger TV reporter Larissa Bonacquisti live from Raising Canes. Tell us more about how this student's family and friends will fundraise in order to honor his legacy. Reporting live from Raising Canes, we're raising money for Christopher Broussard's scholarship fund. Remember to come on down and let them know that you are here to support Christopher Broussard and they will donate 15% directly to the fund. Also for the sorority or fraternity that raises the most funds and keeps their receipts, they will receive a free 50-piece tailgate. So come on down and support a great cause. August 27th marks one year since a car accident took the life of LSU student Christopher Broussard. In the face of such a tragedy, his family decided to create a positive impact on another student through a scholarship created in his honor. It's a pretty devastating thing to lose your only son. You, you know, I have two children, but he was my only son. And um, immediately the first thing I thought of was I wanted to do something to honor him, to show how, you know, he was such a big person of uh, giving back to the community and um, helping others and just, you know, wanting to make a difference. The person who receives a scholarship also has to be able to affect others around them in the same way. He loved being involved, uh, doing different, you know, activities. He, in his fraternity, he was actually one of the founding members of the fraternity on campus. We started uh, Theta Chi fraternity, uh, the Iota Pi chapter here. He, he kind of founded that legacy too, you know, in, in addition to the scholarship that he's bringing, you know, onto campus. You know, he's, he left his mark that way also. Believe it or not, Raising Cane's will do fundraisers for all kinds of causes, it's just people don't know about it. And they're going to donate 15% of the proceeds for each sales. You just have to mention Christopher's name that you're supporting him for them to, to donate it. He was always, you know, there for me, you know, personally. Actually, one of the last things he did um, before he left the place he was at, he actually helped a friend to his vehicle. So he, he, you know, passed away with this last thing and he helped somebody out. Giving to LSU to memorialize Christopher is something that helps every single tiger. Remember to give back by going to Canes and donating to the Christopher Broussard Scholarship Fund this Thursday. This has been Larissa Bonacquisti reporting for Tiger TV News to never take anything for granted and to give back every chance you get. So give back by coming here to support him. Back to you. <clears throat> Alright, thanks so much, Larissa. ESPN named the LSU student section as the number one student section in the country. So what exactly makes it so great? Reporter Amanda Luskin has the story. LSU students are known for being passionate, loud, and loving their LSU football. So it came as no surprise that ESPN named the LSU student section as the best in the nation. I'm here in front of Gate 7, where the best student section in the country enters Tiger Stadium. So, what makes the LSU student section so great? Let's head over to the LSU tailgate and ask the students themselves. It's probably the greatest because... Uh, all the seats are empty because everybody is on their feet. Oh, yeah. We have the best fans, right? Yeah. right. And uh, we're most spirited, definitely. Because we're one big Tiger family. You're there, one band, one sound, you know? Everybody's in it together, and we're all there supporting the Tigers. I mean, like, go Tigers. You know? And the LSU players love having the student section behind them. Former LSU defensive end Marcus Spears, who played with LSU from 2000 to 2004, loves the energy the student section brings to the games. It's a blast to go up and, and see people you know, you know, and you know that they're passionate, they're right there with you, the girls basketball team, the boys basketball team, the student body as a whole, so it's just fun to play in Death Valley, but that's a special, special section within the whole stadium. 
The LSU student section definitely helps make Tiger Stadium one of the most intimidating places to play in college football. And I can tell you from personal experience, there is nothing in the world like sitting in the student section during a Saturday night in Death Valley. Reporting for Tiger TV, I'm Amanda Luskin. There is no doubt that LSU students are some of the most passionate in college football. Well, it's been rainy, it's been sunny, miserably hot, then cool. I'm over it. I'm with you, Taylor. Let's turn it over to weather mm -hmm. forecaster Christian Bennett to see what we can expect for tomorrow. Let's see if I can sort out some of the confusion. Let's take a look at our forecast for tomorrow. Friday, we're going to see highs in the 90s. We shouldn't see any storm clouds as we only have a 20% chance of rain for the day. We'll see a nice breeze with wind speeds picking up at 8 miles per hour and humidity is going to be a little lower than it has been lately at 70%. We're seeing a little move away from the afternoon storms and that's good news for game day. But I'll be back later to give you your Death Valley forecast. That's all I have for now. Back to Taylor and Jake at the desk. When we come back, see how one student's memory lives on and how LSU students are paying it forward. Plus, Lauren Graham has the latest in your entertainment news. Stay with us. The LSU Art Gallery at Foster Hall is currently hosting Trash, a printmaking portfolio exchange. Sounds interesting, right? The exhibition is open to the public for free from 9 a.m. to 3 p.m. during the week. Organizers Luke Ball and Preston Bradley described the exhibition as a focus on America's culture and our consumption of prepackaged products, be it objects, culture, or art. The portfolio describes trash as an essential but often overlooked part of American life and states that American society is immersed in throwaway culture. The portfolio features artists, local and non-local, and each artist touches on themes like recycling, global warming, smog, and several others. The exhibition began on September 10th and will be available until October 10th. So what's the new entertainment news? Louisiana's Duck Dynasty star competed for the first time Monday on Dancing with the Stars. And ladies, it's official. Ryan Gosling now has a young Gosling of his own to take care of. And speaking of babies and compasses, are Kanye West and King Kardashian having another one? Maybe a Southwest? Lauren Graham is the latest in your entertainment news. Hi, I'm Lauren Graham bringing you weekly entertainment news. Monday night was the season premiere of Dancing with the Stars. Louisiana was represented on the show with Duck Dynasty star Sadie Robertson from West Monroe, an LSU alumni and Olympic track and field athlete Lolo Jones. Sadie Robertson wowed the judges with her performance to the Katy Perry song Birthday. Judges gave her great scores and considered it one of the best performances of the night. Her father, Willie Robertson, even shed a tear during her performance. Out there. I think he was surprised. I think he was proud. I think he really was proud. I just Unfortunately, Lolo Jones did not have the same success. The former LSU student was voted off the show Tuesday. She was really embarrassed about her performance. <laughs> she wasn't on the beginning. My girls have a text message pop and it didn't, so I just... Oh! So the beginning threw you off the little... Okay, so a dance with the stars. Text message or not, girlfriend, <laughs> yeah. you got it. Kill it, okay? You got to find that I make no yeah. excuses. I make no excuses. It was awful. I'm surprised oh, I even oh, was able oh, to yeah. get back with it. It's not... That was literally... I've had practices. Every practice was better than what just happened. I, I'm honestly... You know what? Like, really Watch next Monday at 8 p.m. on ABC to see Sadie Robertson's next performance. Well, Eva Mendez and Ryan Gosling just became parents. Yes, Notebook star Ryan Gosling is now a father. Sources say he really is like Noah in the Notebook. Can't wait to see pictures of their adorable baby. Are Kim Kardashian and Kanye West having another baby? Kim said in an interview that her and Kanye are trying to. Looks like Little Northwest might have a brother or sister sometime soon. The former star of The Hills, Lauren Conrad, just tied the knot with William Tell. They just released this wedding photo to the cover of Us Weekly. Well, that's all the entertainment news for today. I'll see you next week. Thanks, Lauren. Stay tuned because later we'll be giving you the rundown on what your LSU game day forecast looks like. Don't go anywhere. Let's turn it over to Christian for the game day forecast. Christian, will we be seeing you at Kane's? Well, you know me, Jake. I'm always down to support a good cause. And I'm always down for some good, <laughs> good food. Tiger TV sports anchor Johnny Lombardi is in studio today to help me give the game day rundown. You know, speaking of good things, Saturday we're going to see temperatures in the 90s with wind speeds at 9 miles per hour, and we'll only have a 10% chance of rain. It's going to be great tailgating weather. Okay, Johnny, you got to tell me 
How do you think our SEC opening is going to go? Well, finally a weekend with no forecasted rain. We've dodged two right. bullets in a row. Hopefully the rain stays away again. First SEC game for the Tigers should be an interesting matchup against Mississippi State. Definitely. It's the gold game, so I look forward to seeing all those LSU students decked out in gold. And I'm anticipating a Tigers win this weekend. But we'll see if the defense can get that unprecedented third straight shutout. All right. Well, I can't wait to spend Saturday night in Death Valley. Hope to see you there. Now back to Taylor and Jake at the desk. New troubles for Miley Cyrus. The singer could end up in jail for using a Mexican flag to twerk on stage. According to TMZ, the singer was performing in Mexico Tuesday when a dancer smacked her backside with a Mexican flag. Ooh, girl. Now one lawmaker wants Cyrus to face charges for disrespecting the national symbol. The crime reportedly carries a $1,200 fine and a 36-hour jail sentence. Well, that's all the time we have today, but don't you forget, you can watch us online at TigerTV.tv or check out our YouTube channel. You can also follow us online at Facebook, Twitter, and at LSURevely.com. Thanks for watching, Tigers. We'll see you again next week. Have a good weekend.